Ruling for 26 years, King Aegon III presided over a dull and dreary court, unable to move past the traumas of his youth while facing the bitter challenge of reconciling the realm after a terrible civil war. Though the king was good-hearted and did his best to bring about peace and plenty, he remained quiet and brooding all his life struggling to forge friendships or make alliances. Given his mistrust for noble lords and court advisors, Aegon relied on his brother Viserys for counsel, eventually making him Hand of the King. Together, the brothers put down the short-lived rebellions which arose in the aftermath of the Dance of the Dragons, including some led by men claiming to be Daron Targaryen, the youngest son of Viserys I and a cousin to the king. They made this claim because the boy's body was never identified after supposedly dying in the war. But these rebels were soon proven to be imposters, and their followers were defeated. Uncomfortable with intimacy or being touched, it took Aegon many years to warm to his wife Daenerys Valerion, but eventually they grew closer and had a fruitful marriage, producing five children, starting with the heir and Prince of Dragonstone, Darren Targaryen, then followed by his siblings, Rhaena, Elena, Baelor, and Dana. Though Aegon largely succeeded in bringing stability and peace to the Seven Kingdoms, his reign was remembered as a failure, due in part to the fate of the dragons, which went extinct in the years after the war, with so many of them killed in the fighting, and the few that remained producing eggs which did not hatch, or else birthed small, sickly, and misshapen creatures which did not long survive. The king, who lost his own dragon Stormcloud during the dance, was no longer interested in them, but knew he must try to hatch more eggs for the sake of his house, and so made many attempts to bring them back into the world, even sending for mages from Essos to perform magic rituals. But all these attempts ended in failure, and so Aegon III became known as the Dragon Bane. Following the death of the king from consumption at the age of 36 in 157 AC, his son and heir, Darren I, sat the throne. Yet where his father was quiet and thoughtful, Darren was boisterous and proud, coming into his crown at the age of 14, but acting so confident and mature, he took power immediately and no regency was needed. Choosing to keep his uncle Viserys as Hand of the King, Darren was a warrior at heart, determined to complete the conquest of his ancestor Aegon I by invading Dorne and at last bringing them into the Seven Kingdoms. When his counselors objected to the idea, noting that the Targaryens no longer had dragons, the king replied, You have a dragon, he stands before you. Proving a cunning strategist and fearless warrior, Darren led his army in a great invasion of the Southern Realm. And while estimates claim the Targaryen army lost roughly 10,000 men, they succeeded in defeating the nobles of Dorne, with even House Martell surrendering in 158 AC. Documenting the campaign in a book titled The Conquest of Dorne, Darren's monumental victory brought him fame and prestige, leading many to name him the Young Dragon. However, the celebration proved premature, as it was not just the nobility of Dorne which valued their independence, but also the common people, and so when the lords of the realm surrendered, their subjects took up the cause, forming militias and rebel groups that launched a devastating guerrilla war against the invaders. Estimates claim the royal army lost 50,000 more men during their occupation of Dorne, leaving Darren to return in 160 AC in the hopes of ending the rebellion. But just one year later, the king was lured into a trap under the guise of peace talks and was assassinated by Dornish forces while his cousin Aemon the Dragon Knight was taken prisoner. With the armies devastated and House Martell once again ruling from Sunspear, the invasion ended in a colossal failure, yet many lords of Westeros wished to continue the war as they sought vengeance for their loved ones who perished in the fighting. However, their warrior king, Darren I, was dead at the age of 18, having fathered no children, and so was succeeded by his religious brother, Baelor the Blessed, a man so committed to the faith of the Seven, he refused to consummate his marriage to his sister, Dana Targaryen. Wishing to bring about peace, Baelor decided to humble himself before the Southerners, walking barefoot and in rags to Sunspear, where he returned the hostages taken during the war. His obvious sincerity won respect from the Prince of Dorne, and so Baelor succeeded in negotiating a peace treaty, signing a marriage pact, and even ensured the release of his cousin Aemon from captivity. 
Yet when Baylor arrived to retrieve the Dragon Knight, House Will made him walk through a pit of vipers to free the man, resulting in a great many snake bites that nearly claimed the life of the king. Once returned to the capital, Baylor showed little interest in the administration of the realm, leaving the task to his small council and hand of the king Viserys Targaryen, who once again retained his position. Yet while he cared nothing for the mechanism of government, he delighted in emptying the treasury by starting construction of the Great Sept and through his charitable actions, providing food and resources to the people of King's Landing, thereby winning him the love of the small folk. Yet he also gained a great many enemies when he made prostitution illegal and expelled sex workers from the city. His own marriage to Dana was dissolved by the High Septon, and in order to preserve the innocence of his sisters, he locked all three of them away in the Maiden Vault so they might not tempt or be tempted by the outside world. As the years went on, he led efforts to burn books of ill repute and appointed an illiterate stonemason as High Septon. When that man died of fever, the king replaced him with an eight-year-old boy rumored to perform miracles. In the year 171 AC, after fasting for 40 days, Baylor I collapsed and died, with many believing he fell due to starvation, while others suggest he was poisoned by his uncle Viserys in order to prevent the king from enacting a plan to convert the entire continent to the faith of the Seven, which would result in war with the North and Iron Islands. Having died without children, Baylor was succeeded by his uncle, who became King Viserys II at the age of 49, bringing with him decades of experience in government, having served as hand under the last three rulers. And while Viserys reigned briefly, he reformed their code of law, established a new royal mint, increased trade with foreign lands, and kept the realm at peace. Though many claim he had the potential to be another Jaehaerys Targaryen, he died in 172 AC, only a year into his reign, possibly from illness, though some have suggested he was poisoned to death by his son and heir, King Aegon IV, also known as Aegon the Unworthy, believed to be the worst ruler in their history. Uninterested in the governing of his realm, Aegon spent his time indulging in women, wine, and food, becoming famed for his gluttony and dishonorable behavior. Married to his slender and pious sister, Nerys, Aegon was a cruel and callous husband who made no attempt to hide his infidelity, fathering many bastard children on women all across the continent. A man of extreme emotions, he was ruthless towards his enemies and overly generous with his friends, emptying the treasury to pay for extravagant gifts and parties, even giving away a dragon egg to Lord Butterwell after impregnating all three of his maiden daughters. Having served in the war against Dorne, Aegon IV had a deep hatred for the southern realm and planned two separate invasions. But his incompetence and poor planning led both expeditions to fail before they even reached Dorne. In addition to the numerous terrible decisions made by the king, his legacy of pain and violence sprang primarily from the numerous children he had, of which only two, Darren and Daenerys, were legitimate, while the others were bastards, including a number born of noble ladies who served as his mistresses, with their offspring coming to be known as the Great Bastards. Having terrorized his wife for years, the king's brother Aemon the Dragon Knight was a constant thorn in his side, chastising him for his abusive behavior. In their youth, Aemon and Nerys were close and wanted to be with each other, but they were torn apart when she was forced to wed Aegon. Yet his love for Nerys never lessened, and so Aemon defended her honor whenever he could, even fighting a duel to the death with a man who accused the queen of infidelity. Aegon in turn hated both his brother and wife, and did not mourn when Nerys died in childbirth, and Aemon lost his life defending the king from an assassination attempt. Despite living a life of greed and excess, it was the final days of Aegon IV's reign which caused the most damage to the realm, as he decreed from his deathbed that all his bastard children be legitimized, thereby sowing the seeds of civil war, as there would inevitably be a confrontation over the succession. After his death in 184 AC, Darren II inherited the throne, the firstborn son of Aegon IV and his lawful wife Nerys. And while Darren proved a wise, intelligent, and progressive ruler, he was also a man of peace, more comfortable around maesters and scholars than warriors. As a result, Darren II focused his efforts on forming a marriage alliance with Dorne in order to peacefully bring them into the realm. Having already married a Dornish woman, he agreed for his sister Daenerys to marry the Prince of Dorne, Meryn Martell, and at last the Seven Kingdoms were united. 
but many in Westeros were outraged, having no interest in peace, and instead wanting retribution against the South for all those who died in the last Dornish War. Furthermore, controversy surrounded the rule of Darren II, as some rumors suggested Neris was unfaithful to Aegon IV, and so the legitimacy of the king was uncertain. All this and more led many to the banner of Darren's bastard half-brother, Daemon Waters, now known as Daemon Blackfire, the son of Aegon IV and Dana the Defiant Targaryen. A charming, charismatic, honorable, and valiant warrior, Daemon was beloved by friends and respected by enemies, earning his knighthood at the age of 12. After achieving victory in a squire's tourney, impressing his father so much, he was gifted the Valyrian steel sword Blackfire, said to be the weapon of the king. Seen by many as the chosen heir, he was called the king who bore the sword, and gained many supporters, with the most fervent being his half-brother Aegor Rivers, another of the great bastards, who had a deep personal hatred for their sibling Brynden Rivers, who sided with King Darren. By 196 AC, the conflict at last erupted into the first Blackfyre Rebellion, culminating at the Battle of the Redgrass Field, where Daemon Blackfyre famously defeated Sir Gwain Corbray after an hour-long duel. Due to the king's sense of honor, he could not allow such a worthy foe to pass away, and so ordered that his opponent be taken off the battlefield and his wounds treated. However, this act of chivalry proved his downfall, as it gave time for the Archer Company of Brynden Rivers to rain fire arrows upon them, killing Daemon Blackfire as well as his eldest sons, Aegon and Aemon. Rallying the remnants of the Blackfire army, Aegor Rivers, also known as Bittersteel, stabbed Brynden Rivers through the eye before leading a retreat to seek refuge in Essos. Though over 10,000 men died in the battle, Darren proved victorious, but even so, Aegor Rivers refused to admit defeat, and so spent his years in exile preparing for another invasion, settling House Blackfire in Tyrosh, and founding the Golden Company, a mercenary group which earned a reputation for having thousands of well-trained, disciplined soldiers who never broke a contract. Despite the challenges of fighting a civil war and the aftermath of reconciling a divided continent, Darren the Good was able to bring forth many years of peace and plenty, ensuring the succession with his children Baylor, Eris, Rhaegel, and Makar. Unfortunately, his son and heir, Baylor Breakspear, was killed participating in a trial by seven, fighting on behalf of Sir Duncan the Tall, a man who would later become a famous knight and mentor of Darren's youngest grandson, Aegon Targaryen. And so when Darren II died during the Great Spring Sickness of 209 AC, alongside his grandsons Valar and Materis, his second son, Aerys I, inherited the crown. Love Game of Thrones? Then be sure to check out the new book, The Thrones Effect, written by a number of respected A Song of Ice and Fire YouTubers, including GOT Academy, Because Geek, Secrets of the Citadel, Grey Area, Ideas of Ice and Fire, History of Westeros, and Smokescreen, with Chapter 5, titled Eye of the Beholder, written by Civilization X, exploring the various ways the characters and story can be interpreted, as well as how the audience reacted to their decisions. If interested, click on the link in the description box below, where The Thrones Effect is available as a physical copy, ebook, and audiobook. A special thanks to all those who contribute to Civilization X, like Sir Jeremiah Ironside of House Comsea, the book nerd Lady J, Jack the Lionheart, and Shane R. Targaryen of the Citadel. If you'd like to help Civilization X, click on the Patreon link, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to see more.